Well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the water merchants, the Car Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. They also run the city council. What do you want to know about? I think that's it. Okay, so... How do I get the job started? Uh, how goes the search? Any caravan jobs? What, what about the missing caravans? Better way to find the thieves than to join a caravan. I don't think that'll be very effective, but you can work on one if you'd like. Why do you say that? Well, sure, we may be losing a lot of caravans, but it's a very small percentage of our total business. The chances of you being on a caravan that is attacked by whatever is completely capturing or destroying our caravans is very unlikely. Who or whatever is doing this must have, been, must have a pretty large force or a very deadly one. Now ask around some more. Okay. So there is more to explore. There's like a building here with nothing. Um, seems like that's essentially it for this part of town outside of the trade with the guns. So let's go over here. Uh, cops. Skag, a skag, I'm thirsty. I see another skag. There's so much space. If I had any stuff, I would have plenty of room. What? She lost me. If I had any stuff, I'd have plenty of room. Where's my Blakey? Good question. Is that... That's Harold. Let's head inside. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a... Poor mutant down on his luck. <coughs> How you doing, Harold? Um, I need info on the death clown to hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got sp Spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Does it have any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. What kind of problem? You can't look at them. It is said the death claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Like... You're eaten. That's what et means. All right, I guess thanks. Anything to barter? <laughs> I want to talk to Harold some more, though. Harold's an interesting person to me. Great, thanks. Good luck to you. You're going to need it. Could be. Can I, can I give him some caps now? Oh, hey, it's you again. Here's 20 bucks if you need it. Anything I can do for you? What's your story? The whole thing? Well... Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. Tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Where was your vault located? You know... <laughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, the east? Oh, I don't know. I... <laughs> what did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. How? <laughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants, son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Didn't the guards help? Of course they helped, you bonehead. Just too damn many to handle. How'd you survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Love that joke. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray. Led a small group of us up there. Who's Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. 
A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. What's the source? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How'd you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. What happened next? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. What happened? Then, I don't... It was just me and Gray. Yeah, I don't care too much about Mark. What happened then? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. You never saw Gray again? No, you idiot! I just said I never saw him again, didn't I? How'd you survive then? Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How'd you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Do you think it could have been radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. All right, thank you. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. All right, I'm, I'm, I want more. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hey. Anything I can do for you? Heard any good words recently? I don't believe this one, but uh, some say an army of mutants is on the way. <laughs> All right, thanks, I guess. Mutants are coming. That's not good, I think. All right, what's in here? Nothing as far as I can tell. All right, what do we got in here? Not much. Are these people skag, peasant, skag? They're all just skags around here. First time I saw it, I was like, maybe that's their name. I don't know, it's Fallout. They could do something like that, but no, they're just a skag. All right, I cannot get there. Yes, I can. Just go. Can I talk to the hooker? Where's my dog? It's my dog. You can't have it. Is that the person? That's just another skag. This is just the poor part of town. What am I going to do in the poor part of town like this? Who is this? Jacob the arms dealer. All right, let's... uh. It's been a while. Let's go ahead and save. I have to do a lot of saving in town. Yes, and we'll just keep it called the hub. Hi, welcome to Jake's. I've got great merchandise in stock. Feel free to look around. Uh, what do you have? Wow, that's a lot of caps. He's also got metal armor. Uh, <laughs> explosive rockets. Flamers. He's got flamethrowers. Um... Grenade, pulse grenades, a rocket launcher, um, more metal armor, combat armor. Holy shit. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford that, but we'll see what I can do here. I want combat armor. All right, you can have one of these. One of these. So I give you all the 14s. Yeah, I'm just not going to be able to afford the combat armor. I'll have to pick it off somebody. All right. That's it. He's an arms dealer. Not too much going on there as far as I can tell. Is that a door? It is. Whoa, what can I do for you? Who are you? The name's Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? How should I know if you don't tell me what you're selling? Good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? You seem okay. Here's what I've got. All right, so another salesman. Another shop here. Uh, Rataway right first aid kits. 
Where are these? Buff out. Psycho. Rad X. I'm familiar with a few of these drugs, but I, don't, I never actually, like, used them, so... I, I don't really know what they do. Alright, thanks. Looks like that's it for here. Can't even leave town this way, so... Guess we'll just head back to the center of the hub. The hub of the hub, if you will. And we will head south. We have some exploring to do. There's a lot to be done in this game. You still running? Get down here eventually. Sure, just go through somebody's place. All right, doesn't look like there's anything I can do from... Oh, wait, there is a spot over here. Go this way instead. There's a lot to be explored in this game. I feel like I should go back to Necropolis pretty soon now that I have tools and I can fix that for them, but... Don't really know what else to do here. For now, other than get killed. All right, so then we have the water merchants. All right, so I have been to this part of town. Are you important? Just a caravan driver. All right, so the water merchants. Can I do anything more with them anymore? Come on, open, open it up. I know dog meat was in the way, and they did name it dog meat for the record. And yeah, it's a Mad Max reference, but... Uh, Pretty much all I'm gonna say about that. At some point, there's a dog named Dog Meat. <laughs> uh, we need new parts. Oh yes, what can I do for you? I want a job. Sure, great, you're hired. Wait, what position? Oh, caravan guard, right? Yeah, sure. You can work for us. You, you look okay. Anything else? Nope. Apparently, I work for the water merchants now. No details on that whatsoever. Is there a door over here somewhere? All right, I can just kind of head in. Doesn't look like there's anything going on, though. Never looks like there's anything going on. Oh, it's over here, that's right. Very specific spots where I can move between parts of town. All right, so we can head over to the left. Whoa. Who is this? Jane? What's going on here? You know what, let's talk to Thorndike first. Madam, I am a healer. You have no need for the services. Um, maybe later then. Farewell, should you need me, I'll be here. I hope, I do hope that you'll never need to meet me again. Yeah, I'll, I'll get hurt. Okay, who's Jane here? Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm interested in your church and I want some information. Do you have any pamphlets? Continue to mock me and I will have you thrown out. But I'm not mocking you, honest. Then why are you here? What would bring you to the children of the cathedral? I'm a seeker of knowledge. I would like to learn more. Are you a child? Uh, am I one of the children of the cathedral? No. Are you interested in converting to our faith? We can offer you what no one else can. And what's that? A lifetime of contentment, fulfillment, in the knowledge you're working to rebuild the planet and make it a better place for those who follow. Sounds very interesting. Could you tell me more? I seek fulfillment. You are in the right place for spiritual fulfillment. The children of the cathedral seek a peaceful resolution of our world's problems and could use your help. Uh, how can you, how can children find peace in the wasteland? With perseverance, the children can accomplish anything. We will not fail. Okay, bye. Uh, I don't want to actually convert. I just kind of wanted info. But, uh, I guess that's enough for now. So we'll head over to the west. And then we'll try to make it to, uh, Necropolis. I want, I want to, like, complete an actual quest today. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done that. Rick, what do you want? Uh, could I ask you a few questions? Make it quick. I'm not supposed to be talking on the job. What's your job? I'm here to make sure nobody messes with Mr. Hightower. Uh, I'm actually interested in killing Mr. Hightower? Where am I? Why am I killing Mr. Hightower? If you don't know, you probably shouldn't be here. This is the Heights. Mr. Hightower lives here, and he only sees people on appointment. Can I set up an appointment with Mr. Hightower? No. Okay. 
So this is kind of a bad part of town again. One of Hightower's guards. Looks like there's only two spots for me to go. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Can I talk to you? George, the, the town, the door guard. Can I help you? Uh, I'm here to see Mr. Hightower. Okay, go on in. Well, so much for appointment. Let's drop a save because this could be bad. We'll still call it the hub. Because I haven't really done much other than get some information. Dog meat apparently gets in the way sometimes. What is your business here? I must speak with Mr. Hightower. Okay, but I'm watching you. He's in his office. Thank you. Yeah, I bet you're watching me. No, no, just for being nice. Because one wrong thing and that could be the end of everything. All right, I assume it's Darren Hightower. Because that's Hightower's wife. Who are you and who let you in? I have a message from a friend. Uh, my name is Ellie. Leon let me in. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Ellie. Now my assistant, Leon, will see you out of my house. Okay, was Hightower the one that I was supposed to kill for uh, Decker? I feel like that's what happened there. But uh, I think it's time for me to get out of at least the part here. Yeah, I feel like I should uh, go to Necropolis. Once again, I know I can do that now that I have a tool and the parts. That's what I have been told. So, I want to get out. And sometimes if I go too far, she refuses to do it. 